Hello, this is Nicholas Jones coming in from Florida Yankee News where we cover all things news, media, and everything related. We are coming in with our latest update of the evening. Davenport, Iowa teen has been arrested in connection to a 16-year-old's death according to DPD. Dizia L. Bailey was the victim of a deadly shooting that occurred on Monday night. The 15-year-old Kayvon M. Davis has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder and assault while participating in a felony in relation to the investigation. No further information at this time. Today marked International Women's Day as women from across the world takes aim to protest inequality, pay issues, and domestic violence. Today is a day of recognition for the triumphs of progress women have made throughout history while bringing in light of circumstances that affects women throughout the world. From sit-ins and soul to purple flags and Karsistan to pregnancy costumes in Bangkok, women have demonstrated and protested across the world by filling in the streets to speak about ongoing issues. Billions of women and girls are marginalized and injured through because of violence and injustice. And people are demonstrating their issues across the world. In the five months since the Gaza War, 9,000 women were killed. The U.S. continues to impose restrictions on abortion. Two years since the overturn of Roe v. Wade eliminated the 50-year right to the Constitution that gave the right to abortion, President Biden is trying to mobilize the Democratic base to secure the right to have an abortion, while President Donald Trump is proud of the efforts that he made that helped overturn the amendment 50 years ago. For our friends in Mexico, take drastic measures to preserve the right to abortions as they both push legislation to do so. Main World Cup incident sparked national and international outrage as the president of the women's soccer team kissed a player on the lips after a victory over England highlighted the harassment issues women continue to deal with in Spain. The player has since confirmed it was non-consensual. Officially recognized in 1977, International Women's Day is commemorated in different ways around the world. Often political, these demonstrations have ranged from violent protests to charity runs. It is an official holiday in 20 countries. In other news, a Nigeria security forces were searching for 200 children kidnapped from their school when gunmen on motorcycles stormed the building Thursday in Karija, a town in northern Nigeria. The second kidnapping in a week when 200 women and children were kidnapped by militias in Borno. If a higher total is confirmed, it could surpass the 2014 incident when the Boca military kidnapped 276 girls from the dormitory in the village of Cherbog. Kidnappings has been on the rise over the years and this country has struggled with this epidemic, but no criminal organization has taken responsibility of this incident and a country has been in a state of attacks for decades. Information will be determined. Coming here from Tampa, Florida, this is Nicholas Jennings from Florida Yankee News.